Hey everybody, it's Henry Steele, and today is June 15th, 2021, which makes this the third weekly video for the month of June 2021. And in this video, in this video, I just wanted to look at some numbers in relationship to the planets. Now, ever since I was little, I've been very interested in the planets and I got a telescope when I was very young and looked at them and I had all as much information as I could dig out, I would dig out on the planets. And back in those days, there was no internet, so you'd have to go to a local library and check out whatever books that you could on the subject of astronomy to find out about the planets. Well, in this day and age, obviously, we do have the internet, and we have the ability to do things like go to the website of NASA, where they have information about the planets relative to each other. And that's kind of what I wanted to look at in this video, just take a step back and look at some of the numbers in or of the planets and how they relate to each other. So if we look at this chart here, and I will I'll put a link to this web page in the description of this video, so if anyone's interested in it, they can click on that link and go to it and see it for themselves. But obviously this information is available in a lot of different places on the internet. So if we look here, we see everything is standardized to Earth, meaning Earth's mass, Earth's diameter, Earth's density, and then it has the other planets in comparison with Earth. So if we look at mass, which is the first thing on the list here, we see that Mercury's mass is about 5.5% of Earth's. That's not very much. I mean, it's like 1 20th, 1 19th of Earth's mass is the mass of Mercury. That's a lot smaller than I would have thought it would be. Because the planet itself, the diameter of the planet, is about, what, maybe 38% of Earth's? Venus's mass is relatively close to Earth at 0.815, or about 81-82% of Earth's mass right there. While our moon, Earth's moon, is just a little over 1% of the Earth's total mass. Mars, on the other hand, is about 10 times that with about almost 11% the mass of Earth, which means Mars is not exactly as massive as one might think it is. Jupiter, on the other hand, goes the other direction. Jupiter is close to 320 times as massive as Earth. And if you add up all these numbers, Jupiter holds more than half of the mass of the solar system that is not the Sun. So that's pretty interesting when you consider that all of the other planets together are not as massive as Jupiter itself. So Jupiter has quite a bit of mass. Saturn right there is 95 times the mass of Earth. That's still quite a bit right there, but obviously nowhere near Jupiter's. And then Uranus and Neptune are relatively close to each other. Uranus at 14.5 times the mass of Earth and Neptune at a little over 17 times. And then Pluto, Pluto is less than 1% the mass of Earth, so it's practically a speck of dust, galactically speaking. Now, as far as the di diameters go, uh, like I said before, Mercury is right around 38% the diameter of Earth. Venus is almost exactly 95% the diameter of Earth, so that's very close. The Moon is about 27%. Look at that. 2724, 27.24% of Earth's diameter. Mars is about half of Earth's diameter. Jupiter is 11.21 times the diameter of Earth. And then Saturn is 9.45. And Uranus and Neptune, again, are relatively close together. Uranus being four times the diameter of Earth and Neptune being a little bit smaller at 3.88 times the diameter of Earth, which means that Neptune is much denser than Uranus is, if you look at these numbers. And then the actual density numbers relative to Earth are right here. So literally, if we look at this, Earth is the densest planet in the solar system, with Mercury coming up a very close second and Venus a very close third. And then everything else is pretty, pretty far away, especially the gas giants with Saturn bringing up the rear at only 12.5% the density 
of Earth. The gravity is an interesting number. Of course, the escape velocity is all that stuff. This is all interesting numbers, or all of these, if you're into this kind of stuff. If you're not, you've probably already turned the video off at this point in time. But there are several things that you can take away from this information, these numbers. And one of the main ones is that when looking at certain things, like for instance the diameter, you see that the planets, a lot of them pair up. For instance, Venus and Earth have almost the same diameter, and Mars and Mercury, well, kind of close. It's a little bit, it's stretched further than the Venus and Earth relationship. But then Saturn and Jupiter are relatively close together, where Uranus and Neptune are close together. Another interesting thing is the length of the day. We see that Earth and Mars have a very close length of day, the rotational period of the planet, in other words, and that uh, Jupiter and Saturn have a very close number, and then um, Uranus and Neptune have a relatively close number. Then we see we have these in the rotational period. We have numbers here, and we have a couple of negative numbers. Now that doesn't mean these planets are going backwards in time. What it actually means is they rotate in the opposite direction. So um, let's see, Mercury, Earth, the Moon, Mars, and Jupiter, and Saturn, and Neptune, and of course Pluto, which doesn't count because it's a speck of dust. I guess I shouldn't say that because there are definitely Pluto fans out there, even though I'm not really one of them. But anyway, going on, there's only two planets in the solar system that actually the planet rotates in the opposite direction than all the other planets, the Venus or Venus and Uranus, which is interesting, in my opinion. So anyway, if you're a numbers nerd like I am and enjoy looking at the numbers and differences of numbers, things of that nature, then this is a uh, web page that you might want to check out and look at these things, look at the numbers. And if you haven't noticed this already, in other words, if this isn't something that you've done any real research on, you might take a look at which planets have a close relationship in which um, um, way of looking at it. In other words, some planets have a relatively close density, and other planets have a relatively close length of day, other planets have a relatively close mass, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, and hopefully if this is something you're interested in, you'll do a little further research and find the pairs of planets.